My name is Françoise Barnes and I am a mixed media artist. So here are examples of my work and I work either on a board or on canvas or sometimes on paper. I have no example here. So what inspires me first? What inspires me first is nature, but not nature as in a wonderful mountain top, no. It's nature seen very, very, very close. And for instance, the wings of a damselfly or a ladybug or another kind of bug that has very strange little dots on its back, white and black. This is very, very exciting to me. The other uh, source of inspiration for me, a great one too, uh, is the art of Africa, the art of Oceania, and all types of indigenous art. So, uh, mixed media. Okay, so I use primarily acrylic as my paint, and then I use a whole lot of other things. So, primarily, or secondly rather, I use um, collage, and collage with fabric, and collage with paper. So paper that I may have made myself, meaning by that I have printed it, or marked it, or painted it. And so, uh, in addition, I use markers, I use ink, I use pencil, I use charcoal, and I use uh, oil sticks, oil pastels. So the next question after that is, how do I start? A lot of people ask me, Françoise, how do you start? Okay, so do you have an image in your mind? No, the idea is I have neither uh, in my mind nor on paper. So how I go is simply by uh, following my uh, inspiration. And if I have worked on several of those red paintings, well, the next one's not gonna be red, I am bored. So I am going to decide, okay, black. So, and how do I start putting the colors? Well, I will start putting an area of black and then a little mark here, and then starts the little game that the painting and I are, uh, are playing. So the painting sort of pushes me in one direction. Sometimes I listen and sometimes I don't. So sometimes I remove entire areas or I paint over. Uh, anyway, so little by little though, after this dance continues, there is a story that starts to develop, to emerge. And then uh, it's very exciting, by the way. <laughs> and then uh, we continue. I, mean, I say we because it's the painting and I, it's not just me. So after a while, it's ending. The story is finished. I like the ending. I like the story. The painting is done. So I'm gonna give you a few titles just to maybe uh, stir up a few ideas in your mind. This one is called The Lion, The Fish, and The Rose. You see there is a story there. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You can come up with it. This one is Her Ivory Tower. This one is L'Oiseau Blanc, the white bird. And this one is called a complicated story. As you can imagine, it was complicated and it was a little bit frustrating. So, uh, I hope that you have enjoyed my explanations, that you've had a good time, and I want to thank you for listening to me all this time. And now I will tell you, au revoir.